Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Exciting day. Very exciting day. Wow. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that during the book reading, see, this is really a miracle book God has given me. During the book reading, many of you already experienced deliverance. Some of you were struggling. Some of you got sleepy. Some of you got tired. Some of you felt like vomiting. But you pressed through. Hallelujah. And if you press through these things, you will see that you will vomit. <laughs> Shocking, no? Shocking. Shocking. How can it be that born again believers, when we go into this subject here, when we go into finding the secret weapon of Satan, when we go into the deeper things where the devil keeps his hidden um, areas where he can attack us, that even born again believers still can have some demonic influence that might even be working inside of them? And that born-again believers experience what we see written in the Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. That people wallow. That people vomit. That people fall down. That people have seizures like epileptic seizures. Very shocking things, no? But you know, the Bible, Jesus was walking on this earth 2,000 years ago. Amen? He walked on this earth 2,000 years ago. But did you know that today he walks on this earth in you? In me? In every born-again believer? Today, he walks this earth just like he did 2,000 years ago. Acts 10, 38, I love this scripture. Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. Hallelujah. That's why we always pray, Holy Spirit, you take complete control. You take complete control. We are anointed with the Holy Spirit. We are anointed with power. Hallelujah. And Jesus was walking about doing good, healing all, healing all, 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 all who were oppressed by the devil because God was with him. Hallelujah. So exactly in that same way as Jesus was walking in that time, doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. Same way today. Same way you are walking today. Same way I am walking today. So actually the things that happened in the life of Jesus should be happening in our lives. Okay, so today, maybe you are still on the receiving end. Today, this deliverance will happen in your own life. Amen? Happy, happy to hear that many of you, while you were reading the book, already you experienced your first deliverances. Hallelujah. It started happening. It will go on happening. Amen? So you have to become a curse breaker for the nation, for the people, for individuals, for groups, for churches, for cities, for nations. It depends upon you how much you want to walk in liberty. It depends upon you how much you want to walk in holiness. See, just now my hubby says he's taking so very, very, very good care of me because to do a deliverance ministry, you have to be fit not only in the spirit. You have to be fit physically. And you have to be fit emotionally. You have to be fit mentally. That's why it's so very much important to take care of your temple of the Holy Ghost. Before coming here for the curse breaking, I jumped into our reservoir and I, sh I swam. And two ants were very happy to meet me there. <laughs> so hallelujah. But see, I try to take care of my physical body. So that Martin Luther, you know what Martin Luther said? He said, mens sana in corpore sano. A healthy mind lives in a healthy body. So it's very, very, very important that even in lockdown or whatever is your situation, you keep your body healthy. You honor this temple because this temple carries the glory. This temple carries the presence. So today, as we are praying, as we are going to break the curses, there will be deliverances. For some of you, it has already started. Very good sign because it shows you, you can send this book to your friends, to your family. The book alone can already do so much work. Hallelujah. I had people reading through the book, taking time, fasting with the book. That's why also we wanted to have the soul ties first. So that first you break all these connections, all these soul ties, and you have more time to go deep into the book. 
Because as you study the book, hallelujah, as you study the book, already the demons become extremely uncomfortable. Many of them are leaving just while you discover them. You know why? Because Jesus said, you shall know the truth. Jesus said, if you abide in my word, <laughs> if you abide in my word, you have seen how much scripture, how much word is in this book. That's why now during the teaching, I don't check so much Bible because it's all written here and I want you to study this book. Amen. So if you abide in my word, then what will happen? Then you are my disciples indeed. Who knows where it is written? Hello, Bible school students, school of the Holy Spirit students. That's one of the very, very, very important scriptures in John chapter 8, verse 31, verse 32. If you abide in my word, you shall know the truth. See, you, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Amen? So just as you study this truth that you didn't know, this truth that curses go over three to four generations, some curses go over ten generations, so a sin that could invite a curse has given a legal right, and the devil is a legalist. The devil tries his very, 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 very best to keep some kind of grip on you. Maybe it happened in your life. That's why you feel so uncomfortable when you read that book. Why you feel uncomfortable maybe even when you see the book. I want to challenge you when you feel uncomfortable. Go deeper. You know why? Because Jesus says the violent take the kingdom by force. Amen. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violent, violence. The kingdom of God suffers violence. So violently, you push into it. Violently, you decide, I take the kingdom. Not, okay, if God wants to deliver me, that's nice. If he doesn't want to deliver me, okay, also no problem. Not this kind of attitude. Okay? The violent take the kingdom by force. So, I don't know how much time you had. It's difficult. First time online school, no? We don't know how many of you have to work. How many of you have the full day to really go, like what we do here, the schools of the Holy Spirit. So, we want to really invite you. The moment it opens up, run. Come. Join our schools, not only online, but be on the spot. It's very, very powerful. You saw no, one of the messages that we had from video. That is a real meeting with all the people. It's a very, very, very big difference than just speaking to, to a Zoom meeting. So try your very best to come. But in the meantime, you have this book. With the Holy Ghost's help, you can study and go very deep. You can confess every sin that the Holy Spirit shows you. See, we had one sister, I think from Malaysia, for some nation like that, and she was here and she experienced the curse-breaking session here and she took the book back home. And somehow I told, uh, let the Holy Spirit show you whatever sins the devil can use to keep torturing you. She took it very serious. Over the three months period, she kept asking the Holy Ghost, please, Lord, show me any sin in my life, any sin in my family. What is the reason? How come I could be so attacked? How the, the devil could come in to attack me? So um, in these three months, she said she had so many dreams. And in the morning, she would wake up and remember by the dream some situation that had happened. And she understood, okay, I have sinned in that situation. Oh, my forefathers have sinned in that area. Oh, our family has this attack, Holy Ghost, how it came. So she took time no, to forgive even the people that sinned against her. Extremely, extremely, extremely important point. I want you to do that now, even before we go into the prayer. If you do not forgive those who sinned against you, God cannot forgive you. You can read in Matthew chapter 18, no? The, the, the servant who refused to forgive the small amount to his servant after he had been forgiven such a big amount. You remember what happened? He was thrown in jail. He was thrown into hellfire. So the Bible says, no, the Father, Jesus himself says, the Father will not forgive you, your sins, if you don't forgive those who sinned against you. So very, very, very important. Check your heart. 
test your heart in our schools here. We take a long time for that, for that forgiveness for those who sinned against you. Because only when you forgive, the forgiveness can be fully given to you. Just close your eyes for a moment. I just want to pray right now for this area of forgiveness because you need to become a curse breaker. So today you need to be set completely free. Nothing should hide there. No unforgiveness that can bring the torturous, the tormentors. Matthew 18, you remember? The torturous, the tormentors, they come and they take that person into jail. Ha, wow. Even into hellfire, no? Because of unforgiveness and bitterness. The great man of God, Carlos Anacondia, very mighty evangelist, praise God from Argentina, powerful healings and deliverances. He says when he has a crusade in a city, the first three weeks, he is not able to touch really the principalities and powers over the city. You know why? Because first of all, he has to deal with the church. He has to deal with the sweet believers. These nice believers, they come to the meeting and they want to pray and they want to have evangelism and they want their city saved. All the best intentions. But when he starts praying, they manifest. The believers manifest demons. The pastors manifest demons. And you know what is the main reason for the demons that can be in born-again believers? Unforgiveness. Bitterness. Holy Spirit, to Russia, just pray with me. Kore he de belika shura has shaga de geshe. Hora paravara has sante gedeheshe. Hora barava kai, Father. How much we desire revival in our families, in our nations. How many prayer requests, pray for my family, pray for my family. Lord, oh, how much we desire our nation to see the light, to come out of desperation, despair, fear, torture, torment. Oh, the nation to come out of poverty, sickness, disease, out of this torturing, horrible, demonic spirits, out of bloodshed, blood sacrifice. Oh, how much we desire our nations to come out of it. How many nations represent it? How much we desire. Desire. But Lord, you need us to do that. You need us to do that. You need us to live such a life. Oh, such a life that we can have, huh, even like Abraham, such a life walk before me and be perfect. You told him. <laughs> oh, such a man like Abraham, such a friend of God, seeing you face to face. Oh, interceding, praying. Oh, praying for the nation. Father, how much desire we have to do that. But how much cunning this devil is. Oh, the devil is more cunning than all the beasts of the field. Your word says it so clearly. More cunning than all the beasts of the field. So Lord, this devil, he can easily keep some small unforgiveness, some small bitterness, some small hurt, some small offense in our lives. And if we don't notice that, if we don't understand that this is the open door, this is the trick of the devil, if we don't understand that, the devil got us. The devil caught us. The devil can just torture us, use us in any way. Really, we go into spiritual warfare and we can be destroyed. So, Father, oh, the spiritual world is such a serious thing. Such a serious thing. Hola braha shokara braha sante. Ho re karakala sai. Father, we thank you so much for this precious opportunity of a school to learn the things of the spirit, to learn the things of the spiritual world, not, not just to come and, okay, pray for me, do a curse breaking, set me free. Not just that, but Lord, to become like Jesus. That's the desire of every believer, to become like Jesus, to walk around doing good, healing all who are oppressed by the devil because God is with us. Lord, for that you have anointed us. For that you have anointed us with the Holy Spirit and power. So Lord, we ourselves, first of all, need to be completely clean. What a powerful word in Gethsemane, Lord, you spoke. What a powerful word. You said the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. 
He has nothing in me. Jesus, you could say that. We are your disciples. We follow you. We see you. We want to be like you. Jesus, when the devil himself came, oh, when the devil sent his people, all his demons, when the devil himself came to attack Jesus, Jesus, you could say, the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. Lord, help us to come to this stage. Roke pereheshe, ho rakara brahashan tegeleheshe, mahore kidibi kalagarosho. Holy Ghost, minister to your people right now. Minister to your people. Father, we must be like Jesus. The prince of this world is coming. He has nothing in us. Lord, any unforgiveness, any bitterness. Father, I know there are very, very horrible things, horrible things that are done to people, painful things, unimaginable situations, cigarettes, burning cigarettes squeezed out on the skin of people, cut with knives, bound with uh, cords, thrown somewhere in a dark place, bound together, thrown in a dark place, even as children, you were crying as a child and they were so irritated by your cry so they bound you and they threw you somewhere in a dark place. I know horrible, horrible things have happened. I know the, th the people that were supposed to take care of you, they didn't take care of you. I know humanity failed you horribly. I know you were used like a use and throw, like a toy. You were used in a very, very horrible way. You cried and cried and cried. You said, God, why, why? I prayed, why you didn't help me? Where were you, God? Where were you? How many times you prayed that? You know, because he was with you, you are alive. If he had not been with you in that time, you would not be alive today. You would not be a child of God on the way to heaven today. If he had not been with you in that time, you would have been killed by that situation. He was with you. And he desired so much to save you. He desired so much to get you out of that situation. But you know, that devil had a legal right. That devil had a legal right to torture you. You were a child, so the torture came from the forefathers. But the devil had the legal right. How many people get tortured horribly without their own fault because of legal rights the parents have given? Oh, how many horrible things are happening worldwide to small children because of legal right the parents have given? Jesus needs you to forgive. See, in that time, you couldn't forgive. You didn't know about curse breaking. So, even with all the pain, even crying with you, Jesus had to bear that the devil could have upper hand in that situation. You remember Job, no? God said, okay, he's in your hand. Only don't touch his life. Such situations have happened to you. Why? The devil had a legal right the devil had a legal right. Today is your day to break every legal right. But if you don't forgive first, there's no way that all the legal rights can be broken. There's no way. There's no way. You need to forgive first of all. Holy Spirit, help my brothers, help my sisters. How many horrible things, how many painful words, unbearable situations. Hapa. How much pain? Let the tears flow, don't worry. It doesn't, doesn't matter who is there. Just let the tears flow. Some of you feel like screaming even right now. Just scream. Let it come out. That pain, that torture. Oh, that pain, that torture that happened to you. Oh, some of you physically, you were changed. You can never be the same person again physically. 
something happened to you, you need to forgive. You need to forgive so that you can be free. So that just like Jesus, you can say, the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. Just cry it out. Scream it out. Don't sit as a spectator. Go deep into the Spirit. Go deep into the Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to bring it to the surface. All these pains, all these hurts, all these injustices, all the horrible things that happen. Let it come up, let it come up, let it come up. And every memory that comes up, you forgive. I know it's very difficult. I know it's very painful. But you know, hanging on that cruel cross, bleeding, exhausted, thirsty, suffocating to death, hanging on the cross, you know, it's a death of suffocating. The lungs fill with water step by step. It's a horrible, cruel death. We think only about the nails, but the suffocating death. Oh, that's what the devil is trying to do now. Suffocating death. We rebuke that curse in the name of Jesus. Our Jesus became a curse for us, even in that area. Hanging on that cross, suffocating, suffocating. You remember what your Jesus said? You remember what your Jesus said? He didn't say, curse them, destroy them. He didn't keep silent. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Can you take that into your spirit right now? Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. The pain of the rape. The pain of being sold by your own parents. Sold into slave labor. Sold into prostitution by your own parents. The pain of not being allowed to go to school even, or at least to to study something because you had to make money. The pain even of being maimed There are people here, they they did something physically to your body so that they could beg, they could get money. From From the damage they did to you, they could get money. I don't know insurance, I don't know what they did. You need to forgive them. You need to forgive them. I know you cannot. But the one who said, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. This one is living inside of you. You can just draw from his strength. You draw from his ability. You draw from him. He gives you that strength to say, Father, forgive them. They didn't know what they were doing. Father, forgive them. They were totally used by the devil to destroy me. They didn't know the devil was using them. Oh, they thought I'm a mistake of nature. They thought I should never have been born. How many times they told me. How many times they told me. And the devil told you, you should not be in this planet. Why not you kill yourself? How many such things? Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. That's what you said, Jesus. Right now, do it. Ho kabarakate shiberaka sante geheshe. Ho re kalabarage de gasapo. You built such a strong wall around you. Ho, what a powerful castle you build around you. You are married now, you have children. Some already have grandchildren. People say we cannot really reach you. People say you are deep down inside, we cannot reach you. You build your own castle. You're very nice, very friendly, but very superficial. Now is your time. Father, forgive them. They didn't know what they were doing. As you pray, as you forgive, as you release, such a freedom is coming into your life. Your life again becomes totally open even for people to access you. 
open for people to touch the depths of your spirit, the depths of your life, of your heart. The love that you give them will be genuine. People cannot receive the real love from you. It's because you could not receive the real love. Because that forgiveness you didn't do in your life, you tried to forget what happened to you. It's very wrong. You don't need to forget, you need to forgive. Because once you have forgiven, the forgetting happens automatically. You are trying your best to forget, but the pain doesn't go. That's because you didn't forgive. Remember it. Look at it. Remember it, but forgive. Every time you remember it, Father, forgive them. They didn't know what they were doing. When you do that every time, such a healing, such a deliverance, such a freedom is coming into your life. I can feel relationships and families, they were very hard right now, like a rock. Okay, you're living together, but there's the deep love, the deep connection in the spirit, it's not there. You're living together like a duty. Okay, we are married. Okay, that's my parents. Okay, that's my children. Okay, we are just. Okay, I try not to irritate you. But the deep love, the deep love, it was blocked because of that lack of forgiveness. I can feel that that stone is just breaking, 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 breaking. The devil is losing his grip in your life, in your family. You don't know. <laughs> As the Holy Spirit is showing you the people you need to forgive. You are becoming soft and soft and soft. And every forgiveness you pronounce, every curse you break, and every forgiveness, it's the, the foundation of curse breaking. Father, forgive them. That's the foundation. <laughs> every forgiveness you pronounce to all the different people who hurt you, you are opening, you are softening. The devil is losing his grip. Kiri See, don't feel shy also. Maybe you're listening together, husband and wife, and you need to pronounce forgiveness. Don't feel shy. Don't think, if I say forgive my husband, he will get angry. What? I didn't do anything against you. Don't think that. See, there are so many small things that hurt one another. Small things that one person cannot know that it hurts the other person. So just forgive. Just speak out that forgiveness. Take that devil's grip away. Take that devil's grip away from the person. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Father. None of us. Oh, none of us will experience the torturous and the tormentors coming and throwing us into that spiritual jail. Even eternal spiritual jail, hell. It can lead to that extent even. If we keep bitterness and unforgiveness, oh, name blooded out from under heaven. How strong the words in Psalm 109. Oh, Sin not forgiven, her iniquity not blotted out. What strong words. Oh, because of cursing, because of not forgiving. Holy Spirit, go very deep. Lord, we want to go into curse breaking. Thank you, you are already breaking so many things in their lives. Everybody at home, wherever they are, you're going very deep already. Lord, this is the school of the Holy Spirit. This is where you have complete control. This is where you take over. This is where you speak, where you command, where you prophesy. This is where you minister. This is where you transform us into your image and likeness. By the Spirit of God. <laughs> That's what we see in 2 Corinthians 3. We are transformed into His image and likeness by the Spirit of God. That's why this is the school of the Holy Spirit. 
where we are being transformed, transformed into your image, into your likeness, into your image, into your likeness. Ho kabakashi, Jesus, so that we can rise up as healers, as deliverers, as curse breakers for our nations. Ho rekere karahasante, ho rahasara, anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power, going around, doing good, healing all, healing all, healing all who are oppressed by the devil, for God is with us. Thank you so much, Lord, for this tremendous blessing of curse breaking, for the revelation by your Holy Ghost. Lord, you will keep on speaking to us, showing us whom to forgive. Lord, like that sister, <laughs> like that sister for three months, diligently working through the dreams you showed her. Just promise him, Lord, I will be diligent. Just promise him right now. I will be diligent. Lord, I will be quick to forgive. Very quick to forgive. Very quick to repent also. I will be very quick to walk in the Spirit. Very, 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 very quick. To not allow the devil anything in between me and any other human being. Even the dead ones. Even the dead ones. The grudge, the anger, the bitterness that you keep against the dead person. It binds you to that person. It binds you to the person and it binds you to the spirit of death. You need to forgive even the ones that have already died. You need to forgive. Just do it now. I hear people say, because of them, I'm a pauper. Because of them, I lost the inheritance. Because of them, I didn't get the lands that I was supposed to get. How can I forgive that? You have to forgive. Only when you forgive, you can be free. And you know, as you forgive them, it shall be forgiven you. Nowhere the Bible says that they must be right or they must beg you forgiveness. It doesn't say like that. 70 times 7 per day. Yes, Peter says, when my brother comes and asks me. But I don't think that's always needed. Those that hurt us, even they might not know that they hurt us. Why not we just forgive them? Those that are dead, <laughs> they cannot ask you forgiveness. So you want to keep that bondage and that curse on you all your life? Release them. Release them from your judgment. Oh, there are marriages that will be restored. Spouses that left, they will come back because you forgive that person that cursed your marriage. That person is dead already. That person is dead, but your marriage was really destroyed because the curse worked. So you think now, okay, we do the curse breaking. Now my marriage will be restored. Your marriage will be restored when you forgive even that person who put that curse. What do we know why people curse? They curse out of their own hurt. They curse out of their own pain. Maybe out of their own jealousy. They had an unhappy marriage. They cannot bear to see your happy marriage. How many things? How many things the devil has done? Some of you, you're in a big problem. Because again and again, you speak curses. Why? Jealousy. You're not able to bear to see other people happy because you are not happy. What is the way to come out of this situation? It's to stop cursing. It's to start blessing. It's to ask forgiveness for cursing. Some cases, asking forgiveness to God is enough. Some cases you might have to ask forgiveness to the person. But you will come out of all these curses only when you clean up. When you forgive all those who hurt you. <laughs> See, it's even, even in our Father in heaven, even in the prayer of Jesus taught us, it is there. Forgive us as we forgive 
those who wronged us, those who hurt us, no? Basic for Christianity. But how many times we don't do it? Holy Spirit, take complete control. Help us, Lord, to be so diligent and to follow you and to walk into 100% freedom. Lord, we want to walk like you. Going around, doing good, healing all. Healing all, healing all, healing all, healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with them. Lord, you are not only with us, you are in us. So how much more we have to heal all? How much more? It's our task, our job, our life ministry to heal all who were oppressed by the devil. Because God is with us. Father, thank you for deep, deep, deep inner healing. Lord, as my brothers and sisters have forgiven. Oh, Holy Ghost, as you reminded them of many situations. Heal them. They did their part, Lord. They did their part. They forgave. With all the pain of their heart, they forgave. Now, Holy Ghost, balm of Gilead, you go in. You heal. Heal that hurt. Heal that pain. Heal that hurt. Heal that pain. Pluck out the root of bitterness that has come in by that unforgiveness. Father, all of us, because of our life, because of our holy life, because of our godly life, our nation must be blessed. Our governments must be blessed. The people must be blessed. The plan of God must prosper in the nations because of us. We cannot allow this devil to bind us in our petty problems. So Lord, today I decree healing. I decree total forgiveness. I decree deep emotional healing. I decree freedom and liberty for each and every one of our precious students. In the mighty name of Jesus, make them heal us. Make them deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can you feel the difference already? Can you feel the difference? We really miss seeing you. What to do? Come here. We will see you. Hallelujah. In your home, make it a sanctuary. In your home, any demon spirit that is torturing and harassing must leave. If you have people in your house that hate Jesus, that hate you to pray, every time you say the name Jesus, they get so angry. You think, is it natural or is it supernatural? Natural or supernatural? Why should a normal clearly thinking person hate a God who was willing to leave his glory in heaven, come down, suffer in a woman's womb, no cesarean, squeeze through the birth channel, be in diapers, be hungry, thirsty, grow up with all the problems and give his life in such a cruel, mocked death on the cross. For us, how can a normal thinking person hate such a God? How many gods want to be worshipped and honored? But have they given their own blood? Have they lived and walked on this earth to understand our sufferings? Have they risen from the dead? Have they promised us eternal life? See, if you think about it, is it natural not to love a God who gave himself for our sins, for our eternal life? So you need to see that as a spiritual problem. And you need to pray for them. You need to bless them. You need to love them more. Don't allow to be hurt. It is not a thing that is against you personally. It is a spiritual thing because their eyes are not opened. They cannot see the blessing of the gospel. 
So you need to love them. You need to bless them. You need to honor them. I don't know how you will do it. I know it's very difficult. But in the spirit, you know, you take authority. In the spirit, you pray. Naturally, humanly, love them and honor them. Spiritually, take authority. Take authority. Claim the light of the gospel to shine in their eyes. Because 2 Corinthians 4, 4, no? The God of this world has blinded the eyes of the unbelievers so that they cannot see the glorious gospel of Jesus. As you break all your curses, your spiritual authority will be so much higher and you will be able very easily to handle such kind of situations. You will see. It will be much, much easier for you because you come spiritually into a higher level. You will not be so easily hurt and attacked and broken. See your life now before curse breaking up and down and up and down and up and down and trying to pray and trying to be in the spirit and getting hurt and wang, going down into the soulish realm. When you break your curses, when you break these bondages that pull you down, you will be much more able to live a stable life, a stable life in the spiritual realm. Your authority in the spiritual realm over every demonic power will increase so tremendously. So I want to go with you into curse breaking. Some of you sent some questions. I got some of the questions. Uh, why curse breaking in the New Testament? I hope you read in the book that one is very, very powerful. My husband gave many of these thoughts also. Jesus was a daily curse breaker. Have you ever thought about that? Every healing and deliverance he did was a kind of a curse breaking. Did he break a curse? Did he rebuke a curse or anything like that? He didn't do it the way we do it directly with the casting out the demons. Okay, that's the method God has shown to us and from South Africa and from this man of God who did it for me. So, okay. You get your own method if you want to improve this one. We have seen very, very powerful, tremendous results. But see, every healing, every deliverance Jesus did was actually a kind of curse breaking. One word of Jesus broke demons' legal rights over the people. But you know, I'm thinking about that. Before Jesus came, there was a John the Baptist, no? You remember? He had to walk before Jesus. He had to make the way, make the path for Jesus. What was his message? His message was repent. Okay? His message was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So this repentance, even the baptism, these people would have repented. No, when Jesus came, they would have listened to John the Baptist first. They would have repented. They would have seen, wow, kingdom of God at hand. Wow, now God is coming. Oh, what's happening? They would have obeyed that. They would have very much walked in the law of the Old Testament. They would have tried to walk in what was revealed to them from God. That's why Every healing, every deliverance, you can see it as it was repented, it was confessed, the people were ready, seeking God, asking God, and duck. Deliverance happened, healing happened as a kind of curse breaking. Amen? Hallelujah. People easily uh, experienced the deliverance and the blessing. He broke curse of leprosy. He broke the curse of poverty. He broke the curse of the forefathers by blessing the children. See? He broke the curse of the forefathers by blessing the children. Amen? He broke the curse of women by healing, delivering, blessing, and commissioning the women. Okay? So he didn't only pray, but he f forced them into action, you can say, no? For example, the women, no? He broke... All the negative words, all the curses that were spoken over them by speaking blessing over them. Blessing is always much stronger than curse. Amen? Hallelujah. So he spoke blessing and by speaking the blessing, curse was broken. And he commissioned them and he sent them out and he activated them. You know how much we see that in the curse breaking? How much, how much people get activated when the curses are broken? A curse pulls you down. One of the pictures God gave me. You read in the book, no? what is the first cursed personality in the Bible? The serpent. Hmm? Not Adam, not Eve. 
the first curse ever pronounced in the Bible was on the serpent. What is the lifestyle of a serpent? Tongue, 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 tongue. Poison, poison, bite, bite. This is all signs of curse. Poison, biting, destruction is all signs of curses. So, this serpent lifestyle is broken by Jesus because the first curse came not on Adam, not on Eve, but upon the serpent. Hallelujah. So, that serpent, that Satan, can actually never defeat you because he's already cursed. Amen. And whatever or whoever is cursed can never ever have success. You know a snake. Have you seen a snake? <laughs> trying to stand up. How long can it stand? Bang. Again trying to stand up. How long can it stand? Bang. See that? So even as a believer, when there's still any curse in your life, you try to walk in the spirit. You try to be very holy. You try to be very loving. You try to be very perfect. You try, you try, you try, you try. Bang. I think that has been the life of many of us. But once the curse is broken, we can walk in liberty. We can walk in the spirit. It's a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous difference. Hallelujah. I got some questions from you. Um, one main question was, what do you do when people keep cursing you? I would like to hear your answers now. If you were here sitting with us, I would get your answers. <laughs> we enjoy our schools. See, what do you do when people keep cursing you? You keep blessing them. You keep blessing them. You can practice to die to yourself. You know, one of my favorite scriptures is Galatians 2.20. The Apostle Paul says, we have been crucified with Christ. No longer I live, Christ lives in me. Amen? Hallelujah. And the life that I now live, I live it by the faith of the Son of God or by the faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen? I have been crucified with Christ. I don't live any longer. So if people keep cursing you, today I heard King David. They were cursing him. And everybody says, curse back, curse back, kill him, do something against him. You know what he said? If God told him to curse me, okay. Old Testament. Definitely it's not God telling anybody to curse us, though. No? It will be definitely the devil. But that was God. David, King David. That was his understanding in that time. He thought maybe God told him. Maybe I sinned. Maybe I deserve it. Okay, if God told him to curse me, okay, I accept it. Wow. Do you need to rise up and say, oh, I break that curse? David did the higher thing. Okay, if God told him to curse me, okay, let him curse me, bless him. You can take it for your own spiritual growth. You can practice blessing. See, he loved cursing, Psalm 109, that's why cursing came to him. If you love blessing, actually these people as they curse you, it's a tremendous blessing for you because they remind you they give you again and again and again opportunity to bless. Hmm? It shows you your own spiritual level. It shows you how much you have died to your pride. How much you have died to yourself. It shows you how much you really became a spiritual person. Or how much you are still living in your soul. I want to be honored. How can they say that to me? How much are you still in that situation? Can you keep blessing them even when they curse you? Practice. The day will come when they will get bored of cursing you. They will find somebody else to curse. You know, the devil has fun with making us upset. The devil enjoys like anything. I had some very funny situations, you know. Many times when we went to Germany and we came back here, the devil very nicely received me here and showed me that he, <laughs> he doesn't like my presence here. So <laughs> I went into my room and I sat on the toilet and next to me there was a cable coming through the window and on the cable a rat 
like this, this close to me, ran. I'm sitting on the toilet, the rat runs and chuck jumps. When you go for a longer time, you empty your fridge. No? So the fridge was a little bit open. So I wanted to um, open the fridge, clean, put my things inside. When I opened the fridge, there was another rat in the fridge. Then we had mosquitoes. We had red ants. Um, and we had much noise around. So everything, I was, first I was, <sighs> after the travel, you're tired now, you want to come and sleep and rest. But it was so much that finally I started laughing because it showed me how much the devil just tried to irritate me. How he worked, he really worked to put everything that will irritate me, everything together on the same day. So now we told our team, before we come back from anywhere, pray, walk in the spirit, make sure the devil doesn't use you to do any blunder. <laughs> Sometimes before we came, still living in the city, we came and they forgot to switch on the motor and there was no water in the tank until the next time the water came in. Ha! So the devil tries to find ways to torture you. So as long as you get irritated by the tortures, he will increase them. I hope he increases it so much to the level that we start laughing. See today, coming here, trying to look very beautiful, two ants kissed me. It will look very beautiful, no? Two nice big ant kisses. Hallelujah. So, small thing. I had nicer things happen. <laughs> we had a seminar on curse breaking. I was fully dressed, nice sari, sat on the toilet. Bang! The toilet broke under me. Wall mounted. It broke out of the wall. So the whole weekend I had stinking holes in our bathroom. So, hallelujah. So, the devil will try to torture you. Take it as a badge of honor. Okay, so if people keep cursing you, even inside your own family, they keep speaking negative, you practice, you keep blessing them, you keep loving them, or they might get tired of it, or someday they might say, okay, we cannot curse her anyway, she's blessed. As you, and you grow in the spirit, as you grow more, they will see God's blessing on you. Because, you know, he sees your suffering. And because he sees your suffering, he honors you more. He blesses you more. So they will see that. You will get the victory. You don't need to shout and scream and break curses. You can just say the opposite. I told you the health, no? The Gesundheit that we say in Germany when we sneeze. You can just say the opposite. Somebody says, you will get sick because. You say, no, I have already been healed by the stripes of Jesus finished. Or if they don't allow you to say that, you might have to sometimes go into the bathroom and take the word of God and speak the word of God against the curses they have put. But you will find the Holy Ghost will give you a nice way to easily say, break the curse and speak blessing instead of curse. Okay, so the next very important question that we hear again and again and again and again and again. Curse breaking. If we have done it one time, is it done forever? Or do we need to do it again and again? What would be your answer? For me, when I was exposed to the curse breaking first time, I had that privilege of translating that man of God. And I could see that every time I translated his teaching, like when you install a computer program, no, you have that, drrr, that bar going, drrr, slowly installation is happening, or download, whatever. no. It's going step by step. So I could see every time I translated, it, I got the deeper revelation. And when you know the truth, the truth sets you free, no? So just by having that revelation, I could walk in more liberty. I could walk in more authority. I could not be here without having learned this truth about curse breaking. I know that. I come from a nation of bloodshed. My nation has sinned a lot. So that forgiveness and that repentance and that breaking the legal rights and all these things was very, very, very much needed. So I needed it and it helped me to go through it again and again as a translator. It helped me. You will feel if this one time curse breaking, you know, sometimes curse breaking is like an onion. You break the outer level that you remembered, that you saw. And as you break the outer level, sometimes inner stuff is coming out. 
in Argentina, they told me it's very interesting the way the demons work. You know, they have a very good hierarchy. They have a very heavy authority structure. Demons are very afraid of one another. They hate one another. Demons are pure hatred. The devil is pure hatred. He doesn't know what is love. So that hatred of the demons um, is very, 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 very strong. So they compete. So one main demon will suppress all the other ones. So when we do curse breaking, we confess what we know, what we remember, and we break these legal rights and all these spirits go out. If we have not confessed or in the prayer, I want to encourage you, the prayer, please, you follow every word. Don't miss one single word, please. I know you will feel I didn't do it. Even my forefathers, nobody did it. Why should I say such a dirty word? You will feel like that. Please say it. Because we don't know what they did 10 generations before us, no? We don't know what kind of sins were committed in our family background, no? So as we confess, expose it, even if it was not there. One time you said an ugly word unnecessarily, okay. But if it is there, it has to go. Because we exposed it, we confessed, we exposed, light came, Jack, it has to go. So sometimes people don't fully follow the curse breaking. Sometimes people select, okay, this I know, my family did it, this I will confess, this, nah, our people don't do that. Mm. So when we are here in our schools, our team goes around and helps the people to keep confessing. See, now we will give you the audios, we will give you at least the audio file, um, you will have it at home, and you can pray again with the prayer that we'll do now. Because sometimes, while we start praying, already the demons want to come out. This looks like a war zone here when we are doing our curse breaking in the schools. So get your house ready for a war zone also. But please, you confess everything. So you might want to do it again. That you feel that. You will immediately feel a wonderful freedom, glory. I'm floating, I'm flying. Wow, I'm so happy. I didn't know I can feel so free. You will feel like that. But I had to, I told you, you know, the condemnation and all these things. I had to again and again ask, please break that. So I had to again confess it. I would make it a lifestyle. I have made it a lifestyle. And I would counsel you to make it a lifestyle. Because, you know, things happen. We say some wrong words. We do some th wrong things. Then what do you do? You remember what is curse breaking? Saying a wrong thing, saying a lie, hurting somebody, doing any sin. It's an invitation to the devil. Okay, I want to remind you of that. It's an invitation to the devil. So you gave the devil a legal right. You gave him an invitation to come and visit you whenever you go into the flesh. So that invitation is there. Now you know about curse breaking. Why not you break it immediately? You said that wrong word. Jesus, I'm sorry. Jesus, forgive me. Cleanse me with your blood. Devil, I break that invitation. Devil, I break that invitation. Lying spirit, go out. You adultery thought, get out. In Jesus' name, I break the invitation, get out. How much time does it take you? Five seconds? You don't need anybody to do that for you, actually. I'm teaching you here. I'm training you. I told you, God asked me, no, do you want to be part of that great end time harvest? I said, yes, of course. He said, be quick to repent. Just that, be quick to repent. So I would con counsel you to live a life of curse breaking. Don't break curses only today with us. Whenever some sin happens, you remember you gave an invitation. You remember that devil keeps it hidden. The devil is more cunning than all the beasts of the field. Genesis 3 verse 1. I really see that. Ha. Genius, master, deceiver, liar. Whoa. So he will keep it until you have forgotten what you did. If you immediately, sorry Jesus, I did that. I break the invitation, devil go. If you do it immediately, devil is empty handed. If you don't act in the moment you sin, the devil counts on your forgiveness, uh, forgetfulness. The devil counts on you thinking, ah, okay, nothing happened, I didn't do anything. And then he can attack you. That's how the devil works. He will keep this nice invitation for some time and attack you whenever he needs to touch you. So, I would counsel you, live a life of curse breaking. 
don't make it a very big whoa thing like today with all the vomiting and everything, but quick, short accounts, you know, we call it keep short, short accounts, immediately act, something happens, tick, sorry Jesus, please cleanse me, forgive me, no devil, no right for you, no invitation, get out, finished, so easy, and you can live a very beautiful free life, amen, okay, are you ready? Do you have your books ready? <laughs> you know, I would say don't only have your books ready. I would say have a bucket ready. I would say have at least the hankies, paper towels, something ready. And be open and free for the Holy Spirit. See, God is a gentleman. He will never force you. He will never overpower you. Okay? He gives you this opportunity now. As we pray together, you have already confessed your sins. I hope you all did that. I hope you all could go through the book. Okay, anyway, you get the audio. You can do it later at home again and again also if needed. But now, you have already confessed. We will again pray together, confess sins of the forefathers just to some extent. Whatever you remember, even during the prayer, you still add it. <gasps> My family did this. We'll go through the as you see here in the book, the prayer, you can add any group you can add. Hallelujah. Be free. Follow the Holy Spirit. Okay? Try now during this prayer. I will lead you through the prayer. I want you to uh, repeat every word after me. I want you to confess after me. Repeat every word. Okay? Please don't leave any word. You don't know what they did in your forefathers. Okay? So... You need to pray, uh, pray with me. Try to not allow the manifestations, the vomiting or anything to come in this time. At the end, when we all pray together, that time, all of us together, we will rebuke. See, now that prayer, we will say, Satan, I break your power. That's practically like breaking the paper, no? breaking the invitation. And at the end, tick, tick, devil, get out. That we will do all together, and at that time, it will be very, 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 yeah, very, very heavy. Okay? So while we confess, please, you try your best to speak. Try your best to not allow the devil to take you out and make you miss some words. Huh? Any word that you miss, the devil can hide and later on keep torturing you. Okay? Are you ready? Take a good drink. Hallelujah. Take a nice drink. Have a towel ready. Paper, something like that. Bucket, whatever you feel needed. And you know, Jesus is the curse breaker. Jesus already has won the victory. Jesus became a curse for us. There is no fear. Jesus said we have authority. He has given us authority to trample on snakes or scorpions authority over all the power of the devil. Nothing shall by any means hurt us, okay? So you don't need to fear. I don't need to fear. Why? Because Christ in us, the hope of glory, has already defeated the devil. So it's very easy. We have found the devil. Now we have to kick him out. It's like you have a tenant, it's called. You have somebody living in your house and that person doesn't want to go. That person is hiding in there, refuses to go out. You just use a little bit more authority and kick that person out. That's what we're doing now, okay? Okay. Are you ready? See, in the book, it is much, much, much more detailed. I do fathers, 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 father. If you want, even you could add names in there. If you feel that you could not f fully get the freedom from the stuff that came from the forefathers, you can go so detailed as, as we did here. Now we will just, for time's sake, make it as generation, 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 make it faster. You have the handbook, okay? To release your blessings, to break your curses. You work with it. Father, roho shente, ma kelegedi guda brahasante, ma Jesus, thank you, Lord. You already became a curse for us. The full blessing of Abraham is coming upon us. 
by faith, through faith, hallelujah, full blessing of Abraham. It's been bought for us. It's been released for us. Lord, we allow this devil to keep it back by this hidden secret weapon of curses. Today is the last day. Today is the last day. Father, just say with me, Lord Jesus, I confess I have sinned. Me and my forefathers, me and my household, we have sinned. We have broken your laws. We have broken your ordinances. We have broken your heart. Father, me, my forefathers, my nation, my national leaders, we have sinned. That's why we could not stand against the enemy. Forgive us. Forgive us. We confess into the spiritual world. We have sinned. Thank you, Jesus, for your mighty blood. Your mighty blood that you have shed for the forgiveness of the whole world. Lord, your word says if we confess our sins, you are righteous and just to forgive us from all our sin and to cleanse us from all iniquity. Thank you, Lord. We receive forgiveness and cleansing right now for all of our sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Any sin that you remember right now, you know, maybe you confessed it a million times. And you think, okay, I don't need to confess it again. God already forgave me. Yes, God forgave you. But the devil likes to keep it as a legal right. It's two different things. God's forgiveness is immediate. The devil's legal right should be broken. Okay? So whatever sin comes to your remembrance, even you know God forgave me, confess it again. Make sure the devil cannot keep anything anywhere. Make sure you break it. Okay? You have been given authority to trample on snakes and scorpions. Okay? Nothing shall by any means harm you. Okay? Don't fear. Christ is in you. You know, in this time, sometimes they come, they want to do karate against me and they try to attack me and oh, all kinds of things happen. Oh, they look at me with such a hatred. I will kill you. All kinds of things now. Our precious believers that come here, when the demons manifest inside of them. See, you know, humanly, I would be very afraid. Karate and everything. I had people spitting in my face. I had people trying to beat me. The hand stopped here. Why? Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is inside of me. This devil could not overpower me. No demon spirit could overpower me. Amen. So with this surety of faith, with this knowledge, you are a child of God. You have received Jesus. You have received him. He has given you authority to be a child of God. You are born again. Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. With this knowledge, you take your authority now and we will kick out the devil together. Okay? Will you repeat together with me? Every word I speak, you repeat with me. Okay? Okay, wait. One more prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every transfer of spirits. I bind every demon spirit. We bind the strong man over every person, over every place. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take authority. Thank you, Lord. Your mighty angels are working with us. Your mighty angels are working with us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Ghost, they go into every house. Lord, your angels into every house. Lord, you cut the bondages. You cut the chains. Holy Spirit, you take control. You take complete control. Lord, we cover them under the blood of Jesus, all their loved ones all their belongings. We cover them under the blood of Jesus. We bind every spirit of death. Devil, you cannot strangle them. You cannot attack them. You cannot destroy. You cannot. You are not allowed. Ho! Oh, in the name of Jesus, we take authority in Jesus' name. Okay, come. Speak with me. Fathers, fifth to tenth generation. And mother's side, fifth to tenth generation. Can you do that? Father's side, fifth to tenth generation. And mother's side, fifth to tenth generation. I break the power you have over me in Jesus' name. Then Satan, I break your power over me through fifth to tenth generation, father's side, fifth to tenth generation, mother's side. I break it and destroy it. In the mighty name and by the blood of Jesus, all the way back to Adam. 
why all the way back to Adam? Sometimes when the four generations are over or when the ten generations are over, people commit the same sin again. So by committing the same sin again, this kind of curse can be prolonged in the generations. No, So if people obey the devil, fall into that trap of Satan, they can have curses from very, 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 very long time back. That's why in this prayer, this man of God from whom I received this prayer, he put all the way back to Adam. Okay, we say it. It's logical, no? It can ha have come from Adam's sin through, again, perpetuated sin again and again after four generations. That's why the devil was so keen on making David sin. You know that? Because the fourth generation, the lease of Satan would have been finished over the generation. The lease would have been finished. So David had to sin. He had to sin so that the devil can keep the grip over the generation. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So the fifth to tenth generation we did. Um, fourth generation, father's side. And fourth generation, mother's side. I break your power over me in Jesus' name. Satan, I break your power over me through fourth generation, father's side, fourth generation, mother's side, in the name and by the blood of Jesus, all the way back to Adam. Third generation, father's side, third generation, mother's side. I break your power over me in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I break your power over me through father's side and mother's side, third generation, by the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name, all the way back to Adam. Satan, I break your power over me through second generation. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I break your power. I break your power. I break your power. Second generation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. That would be grandparents, all these different sites. So, first generation, fathers, mothers, stepfathers, stepmothers, father-in-law, mother-in-law. I break your power over me in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I break your power over me through my father, my mother, my stepfather, my stepmother, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law. Satan, I break your power over me through the they, through them, through their lives, through their sins, through whatever happened in their lives. I break your power over me, through them, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, all the way up to Adam, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now you add your own name, because the devil can put curses on your name, your surname, your birth date, and your zodiac, zodiac sign. See, all these things, you can be connected to the stars and heavenlies and uh, unnecessary demonic connections. So you put your own full name, okay? Benita, Francis, Chemnitz, you put your own name. Um, my birth date and my zodiac sign. In the name of Jesus, Satan, I break your power through my name, birth date, zodiac sign in Jesus' mighty name by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Sisters and brothers, the names of your sisters and brothers, including miscarriages or abortions of your mother. Okay? If your mother had a miscarriage, this was a human being conceived already, so it's like a blood sacrifice to the devil. I don't have sisters and brothers, so you put the name of your sisters and brothers and say, Satan, I break the power you had over me through my sisters, my brothers, any miscarriage, any abortion of my mother, even mother-in-law. Satan, I break your power in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Husband, wife, including all ex-partners dead or alive. So... Even if you had a boyfriend, girlfriend, if you had any sexual relationship, all these ex-partners, speak the name, break. Ezekiel Francis, can you imagine? I will put Ezekiel Francis' name there. Such a man of God, but I will put his name because any curses that come from him, through him, from his family background, anything, by that I cleanse. 
I break wherever the devil could be hiding in that relationship and from the family background. So don't feel bad. We had people saying, my grandfather was such a mighty man of God, I cannot do such a curse breaking. I cannot put his name there. It doesn't matter if it's a great man. Great people, many times the devil tries to work more hard to destroy them. No? So we don't know what happened in their lives. We don't know, but we can cut ourselves free by the blood of Jesus. Okay, so Ezekiel Francis, Satan, I break your power you had over me through my precious husband. I break any demonic power coming from through him, any open door in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth all the way up to Adam. Children, including miscarriages or abortions. You can put the name of all your children, any miscarriage, abortion. Satan, I break the power you had over me through children, miscarriages, abortions. You can say the name. I break it in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any other person that had soul tie? Already we did the soul ties yesterday. This morning we finished. Then anybody you ever had a sexual relationship with before marriage, even if you were molested or if you were raped, any sexual encounter, even, you know, dream, even fantasies, even sex in the dream, in the name of Jesus, you confess anything that was there. You can say the name, you can say the place, you can say the dream, whatever. You just say, it and I break your power over me through the sexual relationships, sexual dreams, sexual sin. Satan, I break your power over me in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus. Teacher or prominent person in your childhood that dominated and controlled you or even hypnotized you. Anybody who dominated and controlled you. They have very strong influence and they can still very much dominate your life. Father, Satan, in the name of Jesus, I break your power over me through any prominent person, teacher, anybody dominated, controlled me, anybody who hypnotized me. I break the power over me. I break the power. Satan, I break the power that you are using in my life through these people. I break your power in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, all the way up to Adam in Jesus' name. Anybody you made covenant with, anybody you have been in partnership with, I had from childhood, we made a club and we put a little bit of blood and we put it together, this size children, you know. So I had to confess that also. I made a blood covenant with my cousins. So anyone you made covenant with or you have been in a partnership with or any other soul tie. Okay, I break the soul ties, any covenant, any partnership. Satan, I break the power you had over me through these soul ties, through these covenants, through any ungodly partnership. I break that power that you had over me in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. See, this is the first part of the prayer. This first part of the prayer cleanses the relationship. It cuts you loose and free from the relationship. You could put the names into it. Actually, you can do the two parts of the prayer. You can first put like, my children, I break the power you have over me in the name of Jesus. And then Satan, the power you had over me through my children, that also I break. You can go through that slowly. You have the book with you. You can again do it, putting all the names. Now I'm just teaching you. I'm training you. We are doing it together in a quicker way, going through it together. Okay? Are you fresh? Are you fresh? Do you already feel the difference? See, sometimes demons go from outside. Sometimes they go from inside. Sometimes you will vomit. Sometimes you will yawn. Sometimes you will scream. Sometimes silently cry. Sometimes you will feel fire. Sometimes you will feel cold. You can feel a breeze. You will feel like you became numb or paralyzed. Sometimes you might fall. You might roll. Foam might come out. You really vomit might come out. Many, many, many different things might happen. Or nothing may happen. Okay? Or any heavy manifestations can happen. Or nothing can happen. If nothing happens, is it a problem? No, because we walk by faith and not by sight, okay? You proclaim God created the whole universe with words. So you speak by faith these words into the spiritual atmosphere 
and the demons have to obey. The devil has to obey the word of God. Jesus said, it is written back. The devil had to obey. Okay, so this is what we are doing here. If you manifest, hallelujah. If you don't manifest, hallelujah. If something wants to come out, don't hold it inside. If nothing manifests, don't feel bad. You spoke the word and the word created the universe. Okay, are you ready for the second part? What we are going to do in the second part now is we are going to take the groups of demons that can have come by the different kinds of sins. We will just address the demons one by one and you can add whatever tortures you or whatever tortures your family. Okay? So, Satan, just uh, follow, no? Speak with me. Satan, I break the power you had over me through fear. Fear of water, cars, wet roads, doctors, dentists, injections, hospitals, animals, insects, height, narrowness, financial loss, flying, rejection, people, sickness, death, unknown, darkness, attacks, molesting, exams, men, women, meetings, gatherings, eating out, disapproval, night driving, any other fear, Satan, I break the power you had over me through all these kinds of fears, fears of dogs, dog bite. I break your power in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. My cousin was so afraid of dogs. She had a dog bite as a child. We did the curse breaking, no more fear of dogs. So you add whatever is torturing your life, okay? Satan, I break your power over me through the sexual area. Say it with me, even if you didn't do it. Masturbation, homosexuality, lesbianism, perversion, prostitution, sex with animals, adultery, pornography, oral sex, sex movies, rape, child molesting, lust, fantasy lust, harlotry, sex dreams, wandering eye, dirty look, any sexual sin, Satan, I break your power over me. Through all these sexual sins, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all the way up to Adam. Satan, I break your power over me through the finances. Bankruptcy, stealing, gambling, alcohol, drugs, stinginess, spending, lack, greed, stealing workers' wages, compulsive shopping, being spent thrift, debt, compulsive buying, avarice, covetousness, materialism, not giving tithe, not giving offerings, any other financial sin. Satan, I break the power you had over me, over my finances, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all the way back to Adam. Satan, I break the power you had over me through curses I spoke over myself. Any curse you spoke over yourself, you need to turn it into a blessing by speaking the opposite. Okay, you can make it a song, you can get a scripture. Whatever curse you placed on yourself, make it opposite and speak blessing. Satan, I break the curses I spoke over myself. Curses my parents spoke over me. Curses teachers spoke over me. Curses put by other people or from the sins of the forefathers. Satan, I break the power you had over me through curses. Self-spoken, self-inflicted, authority figures, forefathers, parents, husbands, wives, children, any curses, any witchcraft curses, any kind of curses that were spoken over me, Satan, I break your power. I break your power. I break your power in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, just Holy Spirit, any curse, ask the Holy Spirit to give you a positive word. Ask the Holy Spirit maybe to give you a scripture 
or at least the opposite word you know what curses were spoken you know what curses you yourself spoke so now you find the opposite you speak the opposite thank you lord i am beloved i am accepted in the beloved i am no longer rejected i am not forsaken i am accepted in the beloved oh he calls my land beulah and chepsiba wow he rejoices in me like a bright groom rejoices in his bride wow i'm accepted my jesus he became a curse for me so the whole blessing of abraham all the riches the friendship with god all the blessings father of faith all these blessings they come upon me oh no longer i'm forsaken no longer i'm alone no longer i'm poor my jesus became poor so that through his poverty i might become rich oh by his stripes i have been healed. you whatever curse was spoken over you you just turn it into a blessing you just turn it into a blessing we rebuke every curse we rebuke that demon that makes you keep speaking curses over yourself i rebuke it in jesus name get out now your mouth will pronounce blessings no longer curse in jesus name satan i break your power over me through the occult the glassy game which doctors fortune tell us water diviners freemasonry witchcraft karate satanism spiritism yoga hypnotism astrology white magic black magic chanting scientology horoscope mantras uh, spirit travel astral projection trans meditation i rebuke it in the name of jesus satan we break the power you had over us through all the occult practices all the occult practices oh in the name of jesus i will worship any saint any uh, guru idol ancestor temple place of worship any place where you went for worship any other thing any other religion even anything other than the living god satan i break your power over me i break your power over me ho oh, take a shente sometimes your family might have worshiped your family might have built places i don't know what your i don't know what happened in your life but whatever is not jesus just confess it sorry lord sorry lord sorry lord sorry lord i try to get help and counsel from other gods than from you so lord now every satanic power that came through that worship in the name of jesus i break it satan worship blood sacrifices murder rape sex orgy satanic oath curses spells leaving the body astral projection satanism i break your power in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth any sickness heart attack diabetes cancer arthritis rheumatism blood disease gout allergy asthma epilepsy lung diseases any kind of mental disease weakness joint weakness satan i break your power in jesus name by the blood of jesus addiction alcohol tobacco television computer cell phones internet gambling computer games coffee tea fashion food soft drinks drugs sugar work sports medicine any kind of addiction satan i break your power by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth i break your power over me through addiction in jesus mighty name tongue say uh, lying gossiping accusing stuttering exaggeration criticism backbiting mockery cursing swearing blasphemy overtalking any sin committed with the tongue satan i break your power break your power over my tongue break your power over every sin committed with the tongue in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth music you don't know no what spirit the composer has so many times through music demonic spirits can come in all kinds of music classical music some of these classical composers died 
very cruel death in alcoholism and things like that. So classical music, country western rock music, heavy metal, loudness drums, whatever kind of music you're listening. Um, many young people commit suicide because some of their fan bands sing this kind of song. So the spirit behind that, Satan, I break your power over my life through music. The spirit behind the composers, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Religion, false demonic voices sounding like the voice of God. False anointing, false call callings, Pharisee and Sadducee spirit. Any church or denomination, any man-made doctrine, whatever you have accepted. Anything outside the man of God, uh, word of God, man-made traditions in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan, I break your power in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Anger, kicking doors, shouting, swearing, fighting, violence, screaming, murder, aggression, cruelty, unforgiveness. Satan, I break the power you have over me through anger. I break that power in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Self-image. Inferiority, bad self-image, self-pity, withdrawal, shyness, sense of incapability, pride, unteachability, lying, fear of people, complexes, etc. Satan, I break your power over me through self-image in the name of Jesus. Depression, heaviness, suicide, headache, confusion, moodiness, nausea, self-pity, hopelessness, discouragement, overeating, sleeping as an escape from reality, any kind of depression, Satan, I break your power. I break your power. Break your power in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Mind control. Mind control, mind power, daydreaming, wandering mind, accusing thoughts, confusion, condemnation, schizophrenia, Lack of concentration, deception, lack of focus, dyslexia, brain orientation problems, forgetfulness, memory lagoons, blocked memory, torture, torment, blurred vision, heaviness, irritability, tight emotions, dizziness, lack of motivation, blocked conscience, rejection, lying, anxiety, tiredness, sleepiness, inability to sleep, blocked language, lack of vision, Forgetting names, weakness, doubt, unbelief, procrastination, etc. Satan, I break your power. I break your power. I break your power in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, we have the mind of Christ. I break all these powers over the mind in Jesus' name. Satan, I break your power over me through stress, anxiety, tension, unforgiveness toward myself toward other people, toward God, unforgiveness, Jezebel spirit, Ahab spirit, Satan, I break your power over me through stress, through unforgiveness, through Jezebel and Ahab. I break your power. I break your power. I break your power. Get out in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I break your power over me through suicide, abortion, murder, war, all kinds of blood sacrifices. I break your power, spirit of suicide, spirit of abortion, spirit of murder. I break your power in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I break your power over me through TV, dreams, books, internet, movies. In Jesus' mighty name, I break your power. Satan, I break your power over me through accident spirit, accident proneness, aging spirit, retarded development in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan, I break your power over me through all these things, accident, aging, retarded development. I break your power in Jesus' name by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, Blood transfusion, the soul is in the blood. Lord, any curse that came through that blood, Satan, I break your power. Through any curse that came 
through the blood in a blood transfusion i break your power break your power in jesus name by the blood of jesus vagabond spirit i break your power satan i break your power in jesus name by the blood of jesus menopause pms midlife crisis in jesus name by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth satan i break your power break your power break your power in jesus mighty name birth oh shock shock at birth shock at accidents divorce bankruptcy rape death of loved ones attacks losing job losing money miscarriages identification of a serious sickness satan i break your power over my life through shock in the name of jesus i break your power i break your power i break every shock break every shock in jesus name by the blood of jesus birth complicated birth navel string around neck or body incubator pliers premature birth rejected by parents a uh, dedication to spirits or de- saints name giving ceremonies and the spirit of the birthplace satan we break your power break your power break your power break your power through anything that devil did to at the birth we break your power in the mighty name of jesus the spirit of the birthplace spirit of birthplace we rebuke it we rebuke it be free be free be free see you have broken the invitations now you have broken the invitation so now what we will do all of us together we'll do this part remember first jesus forgive us me and my forefathers we have sinned number 2 devil we break your invitations these were all the different invitations number 3 get out are you ready okay now anything that wants to come out you allow it to come out you can scream you can cry you can roll you can jump you will be healed you will receive healing you will receive deliverance you will receive a tremendous freedom in your mind you will see a tremendous tremendous difference we had families joining together after 12 years 18 years 20 years we had tremendous tremendous miracles happening after the curse breaking father in the name of jesus hore kede galagada barsa just pray with me just pray with me pray in tongues and now you kick it out whatever the holy spirit shows you whatever the holy spirit reminds you whatever is in your life very torturing you kick it out in the name of jesus in the name of jesus rakara rakada gede gesente ho shikede gede gara baraka dia selego to bushika ho tegada baraha shante gala baraha shagada barakante ho tegala baraba takantente beke team you can pray with me maraha sabraka la katante de kura prabarante rekele gandro go sabreveta non tervela gyo torara ba shagala bara tante velele yante veri yotoka barakate ro ho shikara gara 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 tegala gara ba shata ba ro sa palavatante no ho said devil your time is over devil your time is over devil your time is over out 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 everything out everything out everything out everything from the forefathers out every demon spirit out every suicide every death oh every abortion and miscarriage every spirit of death and destruction death and destruction death and destruction out by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus out 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 these suicide thoughts oh Oh, this wrong relationship oh that relationship that touches you again and again to commit suicide out in jesus name never again you devil never again braha santa you rise up you rise up you run from that it's a devil trying to kill you out in the name of jesus oh braha santa braha salaga de beshe every spirit of sickness every spirit of disease devil your time is over devil your time is over karaha sata ka bohonte he ha ha ho rakata kata ga ha santa ga ha ho rakata kata ha sata ka boh santa ha ka ha e rakata bata ge de kata kala ha sata ka boh santa he moho sa every sickness out every disease out yes and yes you're suffering from the sinuses now you are healed right now this spirit has left you you're totally free yes and yes you have been suffering it's gone in jesus name every satan's attack on your health we break it by the blood of jesus you are healed oh that demon of sickness oh that spirit of disease out 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 completely out 
completely out completely ha ha ere kete ka ha 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 o rakata kata ka sa ha sa ta ka 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 bote ka la kata ka sa bante he she he oh mahanta some things want to keep you back i see serpents i see tempers oh they try to keep you back they try to make you afraid you have chosen jesus christ of nazareth oh he has given you authority to trample on snake and scorpions so you take your authority you say i don't want you i don't want you i have jesus i'm a born again child of the living god so all All these next spirits out, 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 to your house to cleanse your body you are healed you are free you are delivered now every addiction every addiction every addiction ha ha no hote de bete ke sente ha ha la hasaba the devil thought he can waste your life no way out 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 every addiction out mm. even masturbation pornography masturbation you're wasting your energy ho oh, raha sampa judas son was killed oh for emitting on the ground ho oh, you're wasting the energy that's made for your wife for your husband ho oh, it's a, you confess it confess it right now right now it's leaving you it's leaving you it's leaving you ho oh, you need all your energy for the kingdom of god you need all your energy for the family now out everything out everything out you confess that you confess that no time for st- stuff like um, um masturbation no time for self gratification this is the time to build the kingdom every spirit of masturbation out every sexual uh, addiction out every sexual addiction out pornography out pornography out pornography out by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth devil your time is over devil your time is over anything that is just harassing their mind anything that is all the time uh, torturing them anything that is blocking their mind out by the blood of Jesus out by the blood of Jesus haraha satakate hasede haraka tikete hasete ka haraka tikete kasa don't worry if you fall off a chair no problem no problem no problem the angels are there the angels are there the angels are helping don't worry you be free you just let the holy spirit work kick it out kick it out kick it out kick it out many are screaming even in your homes i can see you are screaming many of you many of you you're receiving a very powerful deliverance <laughs> the devil's time is over in your life the devil's time is over in your life <laughs> rahe aragaragaragaragara lagaragaragaragaragara ha ha samba that devil has stolen relationships friendships money destroyed families out out every stealing spirit every spirit of destruction spirit of destruction out out by the blood of jesus every spirit of destruction out in jesus name ho rahe seteke mahasakala kahasa Rakatakasai the angels of God are working angels of God are working rahata baraha seberekente ho very powerful angels of God are working angels of God are working just let the holy spirit move let the holy spirit move rahe tempara kasala follow the guidance whatever the holy spirit shows you to do to say whatever whatever you might have to repent again you might have to confess some things ho da raha santre what the holy spirit shows you do it ho many are vomiting many are vomiting many demons are coming raha sagala Sante, ho raha shaka da gaha sante, ho shaka da gaha raha zala gada braha sampa, ho da baraha santa. The devil has tried to destroy your church. Oh, that serpent has come in to destroy your church. We break that lying spirit. We break this demonic voices speaking to people. All the lies of the devil. We break it in the name of Jesus. Out! Spirit of deception. Spirit of deception. Out! out by the blood of Jesus let the peace of god the clarity from the word of god oh let it come through ho rakadake let it come through you were so exhausted you were thinking to give up the ministry because all the time strife all the time strife there was a spirit of deception there was a lying spirit whatever word you speak the devil twisted it and turned it around now in the name of Jesus that lying and deceiving spirit it's getting out of this congregation getting out of the congregation devil you're a liar you're not a allowed in the church you're not allowed in the body of Christ out in the name of Jesus out in the name of Jesus 
out in the name of Jesus. Finances, some of you need to confess the misuse of finances. As you confess, as you confess, oh, as you confess, the curses can be broken. As you confess, the demons can be kicked out. As you confess, as you confess. Father, Santa. Any financial sin, any demon pushing financial sin, in Jesus' name, out! Radebe, Rahashapa, oh, this demon holding back what belongs to the people of God, we rebuke you, out, we rebuke you, Rahante, out, Lekete, Seta, Rahasa, Lahasa, Devil, we have found you stolen, stealing. You have to give back sevenfold. <laughs> you have to give back sevenfold. Health, strength, energy, finances, relationships. Oh, joy, peace, friendship, jobs, everything. Everything you have stolen, devil, you have to give it back sevenfold. You have to give it back sevenfold. Tagada! Top! Out. Rehesente. Ho, rahasa. Out, 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 everything out, everything out. Rahanda, I can see some crying like babies. You're crying like a baby. Just let the Holy Spirit comfort you. Let the Holy Spirit comfort you. There's a very deep healing. Demons have gone out from your life. Rejection, very heavy rejection. Ho, Santa, the spirit of abuse, the spirit of rejection. Out. Out, 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 abuse, out, rejection, out, rahasante, suicide, out, rahantehe, roho shepedehe, rahante kerehe, roho shonto kolaga rahasata, out, 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 by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, rahasampa, any foreign worship, any foreign worship, ratebekese, any dedications, any powers you ask to come into your body, you repent. You need only Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lamb of God and the Lion of God living inside of you. If you ask for any other powers, any other powers, repent. Sorry, Jesus. Now I want to be a 100% temple of the Holy Ghost. 100% temple of the Holy Ghost. Some of you allowed even object to be placed into you. Like under your skin, they place some objects to give you some special powers. Repent for that. Confess it. Just put your hand on these places now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. We claim the blood of Jesus. We claim the blood of Jesus. Ragara brocolo cosente. We claim the blood of Jesus. Lord, forgive them. They didn't know what they were doing. Lord, they were looking for other powers. Forgive them. Forgive them right now by the power of the blood of Jesus. By the mighty power of the blood of Jesus. By the mighty power of the blood of Jesus. We nullify these powers. We nullify them. We disconnect them. They cannot work anymore. They cannot work anymore. We claim the blood of Jesus over them. We claim the blood of Jesus. Lord, we dedicate these people, 100% anointed with the Holy Spirit, 100% dedicated as temples of the Holy Ghost. Raha, horabaraha santa raha, horepede vereha sagaraha santa raha, horakaragalabaraha solelelelegara gura bragari gura gaya tante. Ha 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 You kick it out. You can't call that sickness by name. Ulcers, ulcers, stomach ulcers, out. Heart disease, out. Heart disease, out. BP problems out, mm. astigmatism out, mm. blindness, deafness, every demon spirit out, 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 oh, Raha Santa, spirit of heart attack, out, 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 Raha Santa, out, 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 every plan of the devil to kill and destroy, to steal in the name of Jesus, out, 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 we break the plans of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty angels of God, they are ministering to you in your apartment. You keep vomiting. Let it come out. Let it come out by the finger of 
God, by the finger of God, oh, by the spirit of God, Jesus is casting out the demons. Jesus is casting out the demons. Oh, if you can just look at the screen right now, by the finger of God, by the finger of God, by the spirit of God, Jesus is casting out the demons. And Jesus says, when I cast out the demons, by the spirit of God, by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. I declare and decree, the kingdom of God has come unto you. Kingdom of God has come unto you. Kingdom of God has come into you. The demons are leaving. They are going by the Spirit of God, by the finger of God. Devil, your time is over. Devil, your time is over. We have confessed. We have broken your invitations. Curses are broken. Curses are broken. We are no longer under any curse. We are no longer under any curse. The full blessings of Abraham have come upon us. Every lying spirit out. Every lying spirit out. Every deceiving spirit out by the blood of Jesus. Every deceiving spirit out. Rahate berehe sente. Roho shabaraka. We cut you. We cut you from the spiritual realm. We cut you from the spiritual realm. Rahante, you have been seeking so much guidance from the spiritual realm. It's like a spider web around you. There are so many spiritual connections. We cut it by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> we cut it by the blood of Jesus. It will no more work. You will suddenly not have these inspirations and these, all this knowledge and all these ideas because it came from the devil. It was not given by the Holy Spirit. It was given by the devil. You had powers to know the future. It was given by the devil. We cut it by the blood of Jesus. Oh, barrenness. Barrenness. We rebuke the curse of barrenness. We rebuke the curse of barrenness by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fruitful and multiply. Fruitful and multiply. Spirit, soul, body, finances, relationships, every area. Be fruitful, multiply. Physically fruitful, multiply. Every area, every area. Every area. The full blessing of Abraham has come upon you by faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I cover these dear ones under the mighty power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rahasa, no demons can stay there. No demons can stay there. You have received authority to trample on snakes and scorpions. You, Jesus, has given to you that authority. If you want, even you can stand in front of the mirror. You look into your own eyes and you command. If you feel there's something inside that doesn't come out, normally here we will be going around with our team, we will be praying, but you can do that. You are a healer. You are a deliverer. If you feel something is there, it doesn't come out. You stand before the mirror. Jesus is living inside of you. Your eyes, hallelujah, your eyes, they are the light of your body. Amen. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is living inside of you. You command, you kick it out. You break that invitation. You tell that demon to leave you. You can do it. Hallelujah. You can do it. This is the beginning. This is just the beginning. Oh, Rahasante. Groho Shebarakatante. Oh, Rahasaya. Oh, Rahasamba. Every demon spirit leaving. Every demon spirit leaving. Every demon spirit leaving. Rasnerete. Rostregere Kente. Lohontara Galagarabarabah Santa. Rohosha Barabarabakanta. Don't give up so quickly. Don't give up so quickly. You know when you are free. You can feel when you are free. You know it. You know it. You know it. <laughs> you know it. You know it. You know it. Aragalagaragalagoregere Galaborado. Harate para, you know it out by the blood of Jesus. Ho ne barakai, Father Rahasamba, lehe segerekosa, no more steal, no more kill, no more destroy, no more works of the devil in my dear brothers and sisters' lives. Lord, you have made them curse breakers, mighty deliverers. Father, the spirits that have left the house. Lord, run that we say, Jesus, you told us, if we cast out one demon, if we don't fill the house, he will go through dry places, wandering around, seeking a place to find, and then he will take seven worse ones than him and they will come back. Father, we will not keep our house empty. Yes, swept and cleansed and beautifully cleaned, but now, Lord, fill us. Fill us with your Holy Ghost. Fill us with your whole ragarasa terra hazeha. 
הוא רק את הגזית על הגובת, רק על הדנטה רגובו, רק את הזלה, הולי ספירט, הולי ספירט, רייט לאו, לייק וויבס, לייק וויבס, דה הולי ספירט איז פלאדינג יו. Oh, he's flooding over you. He's flooding inside of you like waves, like waves, like waves. Like waves, like waves, like waves. Like waves. Fire! 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 Oh. Holy Spirit fill. Holy Spirit fill. Holy Spirit fill. Holy Spirit fill. Lord, I seal my dear brothers and sisters. Lord, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We are your tempers. We will no more allow you. any demon spirit to try to uh, occupy the temple of the Holy Ghost. We will not allow any demon spirit in our mind, in our emotions, in our physical body. We will no more allow any demon spirit. We are temples of the Holy Ghost. We are healed. We are delivered. We have become mighty curse breakers, mighty healers and deliverers. Thank you, Jesus. Just tell him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know how disappointed this devil is now? He had such nice invitations. He could come to you so easily. Now, when he tries to attack you again, you will feel the difference. You will feel that it's no longer... pushing you from the inside. It is attacking from the outside. The devil is trying to get a new invitation from you because you broke all your invitations, no? So you know what the devil will do? Please, just one small little lie. Please, please, I need a new invitation. One, let, just one time masturbate. Only one more time. Then you can sleep very peacefully. Only one more time. One, please, one invitation. Give me. You know what you will do? You know what that means? That is biblical language. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. Kiantere mere mere karam yashai. Bless you, 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 bless you. Bless you, be a blessed, anointed, powerful curse breaker in Jesus' name. Amen.